Our fourth presenter is Piyumi Wijisakara, whose title is Engineering Rotating Mini Lung Tissue for Combating Respiratory Infection. Human lung is a finely tuned gas exchanging organ. Even though this may sound surprising, lungs are body's largest interface with the outside environment, being approximately the size of a full record ball court. When we inhale, the external environmental factors such as wires, bacteria, smoke, pollutants, they first interact with these tube-like airways in our lung. The coronavirus disease that has affected millions of people worldwide is a great example of this, where the virus first binds to the receptors in our airways before initiating the infection. If you take a closer look, the lumen of this tube-like airway that we call the apical surface is composed of a group of cells, including ciliated cells with thin hair-like cilia constantly beating, and goblet cells with little sacs producing mucus. So whenever a foreign particle enters into our airway, they get trapped in this produced mucus. And with cilia constantly beating, push these particles upward in our airway towards the throat so we can spit them out. Considering all these facts, the human airway or the lung is a constant battlefield between our body and the outside environment. So having a good model to study these interactions is extremely important. There are current airway or lung models, however, they're highly undesirable. The reason is they have a disoriented apical surface where it's hidden inside the tissue. Unlike in our human lung, they're highly inaccessible to the external environment factors that we want to test when modeling infection. So, to address all these challenges in my thesis, I have engineered this mini lung tissue in a dish with the apical surface facing outside that can directly interact with the respiratory pathogens and pollutants. As you can see, in this engineered mini lung tissue, the ciliated cells are selectively present on the outside constantly beating, which also gives them this unique ability to rotate when embedded in a supporting material. Since this rotation of motion correlates to individual cilia beating, this can be used to transform current cumbersome, nanoscale, special equipment demanding cilia beating assessment methods into more convenient microscale methods. Being similar to exactly how our lung would function, this engineered mini lung tissue can also be used to study lung biology, lung diseases, targeted therapies in a very accurate and efficient manner. In particular, as we are still living in a pandemic, having an accurate lung model is critical to respond to the virus immediately and effectively. So if we ever hit by another pandemic, hopefully not, we are better prepared. Thank you.